Hey. <laughs> What's your problem? There's something different about Tyler Lockwood. There's, there's something that, that's gonna catch everybody's eye. I wanna say at the beginning of the season, Tyler was uh, the antagonist and he was a bully. Ty, don't, Ty. I think Tyler has been always in his own world. He doesn't interact with all of the characters. It's mainly just uh, Matt and Jeremy. There's times where he lashes out um, with this very aggressive nature. The next time I see you, Gilbert, but then he would question himself. Why can't I control this, you know, this inner rage that I have within me? Uh, and I think towards the middle of the season, you kind of see just a little bit of a shift in him. Go ahead, fight. I'm not gonna fight him, Dad. And even people that were enemies, like Jeremy, are even becoming friends now. The only point in, in the season one where he thought maybe there are vampires roaming is when uh, Vicky disappeared and everything that was switching into her. Hi, Ty. Vicky? But other than that, he's fighting his own demons. <laughs> and I think towards the later part of the season, things start to kind of click with him. Like he's realizing how mean he is and he doesn't want to be that way. I said I was sorry. You made out with his mother and then you beat him to a pulp. You're gonna have to do a little bit better than sorry. And there's this big, big moment. What the hell is that? That kind of shows and explains why he is the way he is. <laughs> I think Tyler's gonna have a way bigger storyline and, and bigger arc in season two. We have these flashbacks with the Salvators. I think we might have some flashbacks with the Lockwoods. I think it's just going to be a blast. I think there's more things in store that I can't even talk about.